Hi guys, y'all know what time it is? We are jumping into Demon Slayer Season 3. It is Episode 5. It's called Bright Red Sword, which I really wish they did not give it that title because I'm guessing we're going to see a bright red sword. <laughs> In the previous episode, it was a little bit more lax. Again, some people were like, mm, not much was going on. I'm like, bro, let it cook. <laughs> Let it cook, bro. I have no issues, okay? So last week was a little bit more like just kind of like the early stages of the battle. You know, they were taken off guard. So they're not even fully ready to combat this. And they're not sure of what they're up against. It's just them trial and error trying to defend themselves against these four demons. <laughs> against these four demons. <laughs> pretty much. That's pretty much what's going on. So poor them. They're doing their best just off the bat handling the... There's a lot going on. There's the village. We have Mitsuri now coming up to defend the village. And, you know, Tanjiro and Nezuko actually got knocked out just then and there. Gaia is... Uh, I'm not sure what happened with Gaia last. Um, I think... I don't know if he was still... With, I'm, I don't remember exactly. But then there's also Tokito as well that was going to defend uh, Homeboy that's working on Tanjiro's sword and whatnot. So they're like here and there and whatnot and it's a little hectic. On another note, there's some of you that actually really like that little segment where I was showing off my sundress in that one video. And just kind of like, kind of like commenting on my following outfits and whatnot. Apparently I made it back to the street. <laughs> so anyways, I wanted to show you guys this outfit because it's really cute. This outfit is so adorable, it makes you feel like, you know, back in the day, like, aesthetic, giving me with this, like, neckline and stuff like that. I think it's so cute. Like, come on. It's adorable! It's been so hot lately, like, the weather has been so good and so summery and just so nice. It's been giving me this, like, beach, summery dress energy type vibes, you know, so I just want to go with, like, a sun hat right now and walk along the coast of the beach. I don't got no beach nearby, though. But that's what it's giving, so I was feeling that, so. What do you guys think? Is this, is this, is this, oh. <laughs> Anywho, I'm so excited for this episode. I don't know if it's gonna pick up. I don't know if something crazy is gonna happen. I don't know what to expect, but I really think it's gonna be a pretty good episode, so guys, let's get into it. Right, Nyla? Yes, okay, let's go. <laughs> Just give that thing a kick and keep going. Oh! <laughs> he just dropped it. <laughs> Yo, he just knows how to handle the situation. Don't you have to hit the, the... Was there not a pot on top of it? Oh, he did. Okay, he split it at the pot level. Okay, got it. Yo, he just... Priorities, bro. He's like, okay, hey, you, you're good. I'm gonna drop you real quick. Don't say nothing. He just dropped him, bro. <laughs> Do you have a sword for me? Oof. Uh. Yes! Older brother vibes! Oh my god, the symbol on the side. Oh my god, there's something there. Yeah. The main dude is here, isn't he? Oh no! No, 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 no. Yo, why am I suddenly terrified if you die? Like, I don't know it's like... You're not gonna die soon, but like, at the end of all this, like... Oh my god. I'm scared. I suddenly feel like crying. A rolling pot? What about splitting it before he pops out? 
I'd be like, no, I just smelled your funky ass. <laughs> I just swear, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh! actually die uh, like this is an anime where like when side characters actually die I'm like no way <laughs> oh no oh no oh no oh no oh she went straight for that I guess, was she fighting a few already she went straight for the pot Oh my god! Oh, she has a whip! Right? Is it like a whip? Yo, at this point, it was like she was just passing through. She was just passing through. You look like you're gorgeous. I just love your straight hair pulled back like that. Oh my god, that one has like five. Oh no! Wow, okay. This show really has me messed up sometimes. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, it is like a whip blade, that's awesome. Yeah, like how do they make that? That seems really awesome, because I feel like you can't predict it as easily and it can take out a lot in once, which is what we saw, like that's really cool. And it's gorgeous, she's like moving around and it's like twirling around her and stuff. <sighs> but he's okay. <laughs> Bro, I have enough arms for both of y'all. <laughs> you this time i love that i love that i love that oh my god oof <laughs> i was so happy to see i'm not the only one like i know i like like me and my friend were like mm, them demons though and uh, online i can see i'm not we're not the only ones okay don't come for me <laughs> my friend said at our at the next con that we go to this summer there has to be a group of four guys that cosplay this. Has to. Has to. Please, I beg. Any con, people cosplay them. That's all I have to say. Oh, now he's running with her. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's awake now. Her blood, she's gonna like. Okay. She's awake now. She's awake now. Bro, she's doing it on purpose, isn't she? Your voice when you speak low, when you're not yelling and angry, sir? Let's go back. Let's, let's just go back. <laughs> Am I supposed to live? <laughs> they can't smell y'all? Oh, she, is she trying- I feel like she's trying to stab herself? Like, what? She's trying to do something here. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna impede him though. <laughs> His arms are so like short and they're just like <laughs> it's very um I don't know why that made me feel some type of way. <laughs> like I didn't process that his arms were short like that. <laughs> Bro, his face. I knew it! Something told me! Can he, like, bring them back out into a form? Like, when I first saw that, I thought, like, oh, does he? can he spit them out and transform into them? But I guess he can't. But he collects them in there and he spits them out, so it would make sense if he had some in there. Oh my god. Look how many he took out. They probably know them too. Oh my god. Oh, are they still alive? Oh my god, they're talking. Oh my god. They. Oh my god.
and they scream. Oh my god, oh my god. That is so vile. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate everything about you. Oh, why did he give me Levi there? <laughs> he was giving me Levi there. Damn. We don't care. Wait, what? Yeah, I was confused because I saw that he left. See, it, it looked like he left the vase. Oh, okay, so that vase was. Why did I think it teleported? Okay, so that was a vase over there. So he just has vases all over the place? Does he create the vase last minute or does he have them all over? Pop out of nowhere, okay. I love how all he cares about is thinking of what the best thing is to do and how things are happening. He does not care about what you have to say, sir. He's like, each time he's always just analyzing what's happening. He wants the artwork of your death. Wait, what's with his connection and fish? And how can he make fish that throw needles? What on earth? It's floating. They're floating. They're floating. Why are they floating? This, this makes no sense. Why are they floating? No, you guys were supposed to cr No! <gasps> oh my god! That's not okay! You guys were supposed to lie flat on the ground! And then it would've like passed you- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There's no way you could- There's no way, there's no way, there's no way. There's no way. What if they have like poison on them? <laughs> they do have poison on them! Uh, no! This is literally a Titi Mark all over again! <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, I really can't. Does this bring a memory? That's a demon that he met before. It was a demon you met before. Imagine it was you when you weren't a demon? No, I don't think so. He has like a water affinity thing. That's actually insane. Why do I feel like homeboy making that sword is gonna come through somehow? Like, that's gonna be crazy. Uyashiki's head will be in reach. She's trying to do something very specific. Is, does she want to set his blade on fire? Like. So it's changing color? So that's how it's gonna become red? Yo, is this a brother sister tag team, bro? Ah! I'm sorry. Oh my dream battle, right? Wait, what? This is an inherited memory. They actually turned quick. I don't know about that. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Yo, are you trembling? That's up your head. Oh, you know, I want to see that. I want to see that. Bro, he is so. Mm. Oh, look, look, look. Where do you get this name, 
things up. One down. Ooh. On to the next, to the next. Oh, dang. I kind of, I'm sorry because I, I like y'all to a degree. Um, On to the next, to the next. Ooh, but y'all, you got three. You, oh, my God. You, wow, you guys needed literally the blue one here. Wait, but this was... I don't want to say this was too easy, but I have concerns still. Like, I still have concerns though. Like, it's really amazing that he achieves what he just achieved. That is wicked. How I felt in that moment. I'm saying because like the wave, it, it reproduced the exact same mark. Yes. So he remembered that feeling. Nice! He can do it now! Just one more, but... Oh, they're right there. That's where he was. Oh, he got his head off, though! Oh my god! That is so cool! Yo, he actually got his head off! Oh, his hair! <gasps> Why am I, like, borderline not surprised? Because that explains a lot. That explains a lot. That makes sense. But how come? Ah, I guess I have so many questions. I have so many things to say and think about. Hold on. Hold on. I love his look, by the way. The yellow tips on his hair is just. No, no, hun. No, it's okay. <laughs> I was like, the more times you do it. Aren't you going to become a Hashira? <laughs> Aren't you going to become a Hashira? Who are we talking about here? Are we talking about homeboy? Are we talking about um, Gaia? Like, meaning like, because he's a demon of sorts, is he going to become a Hashira? Y'all, I'm a little surprised. I'm like not that surprised. I didn't exactly expect that he was a demon, but I did have in the back of my mind the idea of like, what if, okay, cause um, you know how at the beginning I was thinking of like the, um, the demon, the upper one. I was like, is he the same as homeboy that's alive now? And he can like live a double life somehow, like demon at night and 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 human during the day i was like is that possible so this idea was running through my mind like are there potentially individuals that can live as both a human and a demon and so as i'm seeing this i'm like no way is that what's going on with him but low-key i'm like are they validating a suspicion i had so when it comes to gaia have we've seen him in the sunlight right we've seen him in the day when they went to the hot springs wasn't he like it wasn't dark yet and clearly he's able to hide his demon attributes. However, when he, he doesn't eat. He doesn't eat, right? We haven't seen him like just eat. He doesn't eat with everybody else. He obviously regenerates, his teeth grow back and all these things like, yeah, that's, those are very demon qualities even while he's still in his human-like appearance. So, it's to say, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what this means. I think I've seen him in the daylight. That time when it was the sauna, I think it was sunset vibes, which means there was still some sunlight. It's true we didn't see him eat. He doesn't eat meals with everybody else. But see, my thing is, like, is he a mix, though? Is he, like, is he actually part demon? and part human is that really possible or is he actually full demon with somehow a learnt skill of suppressing the urges which in turn suppress his appearance number one number two how many people know about this do they know about this it's giving nezuko vibes in the terms of like nezuko is kind of like full-on demon but she could calm down she can calm down and she doesn't look like a demon you see what I'm saying? Yet they were skeptical about her, especially his own brother. Gaia was like, heck no. Nah. And yet, he's like that? 
And I had my suspicions. I'm like, the Hashira, as you know it, I feel like for I, I suspected a long time ago that he has a type of blood, and I'm still very strong on that because it just makes a lot of sense to me. Um, they were explaining like humans that have blood worth a lot of people. And then they showed him at some point using his blood. And not only that, he had a lot of scars on his body. So I was like, oh, like maybe he has a special blood. So I'm like, okay, here's one brother with like a special type of blood. And then there's Genya that's like part demon. Like <laughs> so many questions. Not only that, he uses a shotgun. Like <laughs> so many questions. I was so intrigued by his character. What? Not only that. We have beheaded all four demons just now. They're all beheaded. Still felt a little too easy unless he's not the demon that really matters. Unless we got rid of this one and now we're about to focus on the other one. What if it's the other one that's actually the crazy one? That's gonna be a headache. I don't know, that just, it still doesn't sit right with me like this was too easy. I feel like, I feel like what's going on with Upper uh, Five right now is that he was taking it a little too easy and then you know now he's beheaded and he's realizing oh damn these kids these kids are actually pretty dang serious so now i'm gonna go all out that's what's gonna happen it's the only thing that makes sense to me it doesn't make sense that this concluded like this he was they were those demons were underestimating the demon slayers they were taking it easy and that's why they weren't even too concerned like they were just taking it really easily i find they weren't trying to just go off and end them like they were just kind of like playing with their food in a way they were messing around like and so now that they're all beheaded like nah something's about to happen something is about to happen and they're gonna be serious now what's the explanation for it? like how come like how come these demons could just go around not dying from beheading bro like what's happening oh my god sorry that was a really really good episode y'all i really really enjoyed it um Tokito at the beginning trying to analyze the situation. I'm highly concerned he has poison in his body now. He's been pierced like porcupine. It's giving me Uzui, but Uzui was saved. We know that if Nezuko goes around, she could potentially purge him of the poison. I, I, I figure. Um, but still, like, uh, I'm so scared. I don't want to lose him. There's something about him being so young, too. It would really break my heart for him to die at such a young age as a Hashira. And I feel like he has a lot to discover about himself as I feel like no I can't I don't want that so I'm just super nervous y'all I hope you guys are too I can't be the only one in this business <laughs> so I'll end it here thank you for watching leave your thoughts down below no spoilers please and I will see you guys in my next video so thank you so much and bye